Good morning, brothers and sisters. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were tied up in their trousers, their coats, their caps, and their other clothes, and were cast into the midst of the furnace of blazing fire. For this reason, because the king's command was urgent, and the furnace had been made extremely hot, the flame of the fire slew those men who carried up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But those three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell into the midst of the furnace of blazing fire, still tied up. Daniel 3, 21-23 When God doesn't deliver you from a trial, He refines you through the trial. When facing excommunication at the Diet of Worms, Martin Luther wrote to the Elector Frederick, You ask me what I shall do if I am called by the Emperor. I will go down if I am too sick to stand on my feet. If Caesar calls me, God calls me. If violence is used, as well as it may be, I commend my cause to God. He lives and reigns who saved the three youths from the fiery furnace of the king of Babylon. And if he will not save me, my head is worth nothing compared with Christ. This is no time to think of safety. I must take care that gospel that is not brought into contempt by our fear to confess and seal our teaching with our blood. Luther was willing to risk even death for the sake of Christ. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego before him, he valued integrity above his own life, and in his loneliest hour drew encouragement from their experience. Often we pray to avoid trials when God wants to use them for our greater good. But trials test the genuineness of our faith and purge us of sin and shallowness like a refiner's fire purges gold. The process may be painful, but the result is more precious than the purest gold. 1 Peter 1.7 God bless.